Some time ago, I was asked whether a 3D printer could uh, produce a kind of pressure release. It should be just a screw with a tiny hole in it. I said, well, yes, if it's uh, not going to be very hot, it shouldn't be a problem. So I got the original the screw and uh, took the measurements. For this project, I used AC3D. First, I created a path of just three vertices. And uh, given the measurements, I calculated the radius and put in the exact values for these three vertices so that the positions uh, reflect the outer rim of this uh, thread. Then this path is revolved around the y-axis with the advance of the thread. Note that this uh, action will create duplicate vertices which is easily fixed with the functions vertices snap together by distance and object optimize vertices. The lower loop of the vertices is extruded and flattened. This will build the lower end of the thread. I just have to fix one face at the end of the thread. The start of the thread is indented a little bit. And the bottom gets a face. In the bottom face I poke a hole of about one millimeter and extrude it up to the top. This will be the small hole for the pressure release. At the top of the thread the vertices are extruded in the same way as the bottom. The top can be closed now by moving the vertices together and merging them. Especially when using uh, this model for 3D printing, you should make sure you have no open faces. Here in this case, um, I got two open faces by uh, extruding the, the spiral up, because it was not a perfect circle, but yeah, a spiral. This is easily fixed by splitting a, the a face and uh, connecting the vertices again. Oak more unconnected faces can make problems when slicing, so you should always check that. When everything is okay, it is time to work a little bit on at the top. I wanted to have a structure that is uh, easily to grab with the fingers and so uh, you don't have to need a, to use a tool. Finally, the model can be exported as an STL file. The STL file is loaded into the slicer, rotated upwards and we should be ready to go. This object is very small and it should be very strong, so I decided to use an infill of 100%, so effectively making it solid. And now let's print. This is the result directly from the printer, so I can confirm, yes, you can print a pressure release. Now, have a nice day, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.